This is a quick update on my project Unity in easy mode and for the several past weeks I've been working a lot on this project so here are the some things that I added. You can see that I have added levels. We were at level 1 and now we went to level 2. So that is one of the things that I've added and also you can see that this level 2 is going to be continued without stopping. So it is actually randomly generating by using parts that I've pretty created and it's choosing the parts for the next one. So this is going to be an endless level. I also added a simple camera follow unit. If you want a more complicated camera in your game, I would suggest to use Cinemachine it has lots of options and configuration that you can use. There's lots of work that I actually did, but I'll just do a small overview. So in this project, I have the SP units. And if you want to see all the units, you can actually open this graph right here. And this graph actually displays all of the units that currently are in this package. So some new additions, I have some animation units here. For game cycle, I added some level units to control that. And under movement, I have stop move detection, camera follow, scale limits, rotation limit and position limiter. Those are some of the additions. And for controls, I added touch rotate, touch move and touch scale. Now let's go take a look at the game that we were just looking at. Select this player. And here is how that game is set up. So we have a move unit, camera follow. If collide, that spawns that debris explosion effect. On collision with a finish line, I have level complete and right away I'll load the next level. Then I have a restart all levels if you want to start the game from the first level again. And right here I have a new unit that I'm creating. This is what is being used to display the distance that you traveled. And just another keyboard input that quits the application if you click Q. So really simple setup for this scene. And I'll start making tutorials on how to actually use these units because these units are pretty much final. I'll start refactoring the more complex units that you've seen in more complicated games that I did. But right here in these game templates, you can actually check out some of the simple templates that are here and how they are built. So the last template that I was testing with is this side scroller. So let's take a look at this one. It also has a level loader. And again, I'll be explaining more details in the tutorials but you can go ahead and take a look at these templates and see how they're set up and how it all works. So this is just a quick update for you guys so you know what's going on because I have a, quite a few of supporters for this project. It's currently available in early access and I just want to show you all the progress that I'm making with it. The next video that I'm working on is actually a tutorial how to use these units to prototype. So thank you to everyone that supports this project. I hope you like the progress that I'm making. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to write that in the comments.